Hello, hello. We are going to do a calorie activity. Now, one thing I want people to have a good sense of are the numbers that we use in science. And I want you to have a sense, not just for what your mass is, what your height is, but also for the amount of energy you use. Not just the matter, but the energy itself. Now, you can go on many websites and they will help you calculate how many calories you should consume a day. Now, when I did this, I got a number, 3,275 calories. These are big cows that I should consume today, consume every day. Big cows, also known as kilocalories if you're in Europe, um, or other places where they use kilocalories, but in the US, we refer to them as dietary calories. Now, that is enough to take this liter of water and heat it up by 3,275 degrees, which you're not going to do. Well, it vaporize also, but you know. Moving on. So, I want to actually know what that is. Now, we've been dealing with energy in the form of joules. So, what is 3,275 calories in joules? Well, let's do it. There are 4,000. 186 joules in a calorie. If I need this many calories and there are this many joules, I simply multiply them together and what do I get? I get 13,709,150. Now, by the way, that is eight sig figs, but none of these numbers. Now, this is precise. That is exactly this. This thing has given me this estimate. Um, does a website really know what my calorie intake needs to be? So, but anyway, both of these are four sig figs. We should round this to four sig figs. So I'm gonna put down 13,710,000 um, joules, which is a lot. You could also think of it as 13.7 megajoules if you want. So you can do 13.7. Uh, mega joules, if you're interested. Um, but anyway, that's the number I'm getting. Now, that is what the calorie counter says I need to consume in order to maintain my weight. But, do I really want to maintain this weight? I could probably stand to lose a few pounds. But for our intents and purposes, we're going to say this works. Uh, by the way, if you're smaller than me, you're probably gonna get a smaller number. If you're, my, this one figured in activity level, so if you're less active than me, you're gonna get a smaller number. If you're more active, you're gonna get a bigger number, but chances are you're probably gonna get a smaller number just because I'm a very large person. So, but now you know how to convert the calories to joules, and that's a number we can work with.